Here we are. Up to Melbourne. Just parked up. We're heading to Melbourne to do the motorcade lap of honour with the kids. Got a little special fly down, so we're gonna go down there with a the fam bam. Do all that, get spruced up, do all that kind of stuff, and we're gonna have some fun over the weekend and then straight back to Mad Monday. Ready to go, Melbourne? Let's we go. better go to Melbourne. That's why I got some new shoes. Oh. Mine too. Mine oh too. See you soon. Good to go. So g'day guys, before I get stuck in this vlog, I just want to let you know that I'm giving away a brand new 12th gen Intel Core powered Acer Predator Helios 300 laptop. This thing has been great for me and I'm about to go overseas literally tonight. So I'll be using this laptop for editing my vlogs while over there and gaming too while, while I'm in America. So all you gotta do is go to my latest Instagram post and follow the prompts on the caption and you have a chance to win one of these brand new laptops. I'll be giving away during the week. Make sure you comment your name and you'll be following myself and Intel and you go on the running to win it. It is a beauty of a thing, so let's get stuck in the vlog. Nah, I'm definitely coming down. As soon as my AFL career's finished, I'll be down there in the first um, boat and I'm uh, making sure I can come down either fly and fly it like every second week or whatever it may be, but I'll be coming down for sure because I want to make sure we lift up a cup and I can win my own medal. So Mitch Robinson wins the Mitch Robinson medal. That'd be sick. <laughs> nah, I really appreciate it. I'll jump back on when I find out who's, who, who's going to win the medal. But thanks for having me. Not at this way. 
Hey guys, so um, I'm here, I'm here, oh, no. I'm here, I'm here. He <laughs> brought it up. Did you do a skull? Oh, he's going right now. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't ready. Is there no photo of me? Zero. No. I'll go home right now if no photo of me. Oh, because no you Robinson. were last year, mate. No Hartlett. What year is that? No. Hey guys, I'm here with Hamish Hartlett, um, under 17th Premiership player. I got best on 33 goals. He had you got second best. Well, I got, got best on 38 kicks. So. Doesn't matter about that, but so anyway, regardless of that, we are not in the we're not in the budget for as retiring players. Reprint, reprint. So that means we're gonna have to go around next year. Yeah, Gil, oh, yeah. Gil, Gil. No, I got Gil. Yeah, no, it's right. Let's reprint that shit and then send it back. Tyson and Xavier. Hey, Tyson Xavier, who's your dad, Mark? And we love him. He's the best in LA history. No, no. <laughs> very big raps about me in my first draft year. Pick, what do you have? Pick what? Well, you're very late. You should have gone very early. You're a top 10 that went very late. Become a superstar in the game. Uh, but more importantly, he was a Harrison medalist, the best and fairest player from Tassie in that national championship. Not many of them. One this year by Jasper Fletcher. Adrian Fletcher's boy. Yes, yes. So he's got to be. Others that have won it, Isaac Heaney. Yes. Uh, Nick Blakey. Thank you. There's some fairly good players. And Michael Voss was the first Ma winner. He and was I reckon you're one. in that category. He was Michael number one. Voss was the first and winner. And I'm up there. But, you're up there with it. But I should have seen that he's been the best in the business. That's my guy. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> That's all right. Thank you so much. Perfect, mate. Perfect. <laughs> Dress ready. Alright, so Hotel X in the Fortitude Valley has hooked me up. All exclusive, everything paid for for the BNF tonight, uh, for my last BNF. So big shout out to you guys. Been upstairs to the pool already, took the kids up there. Now we're gonna palm the kids off and have a little bit of fun with me and Emma for a little bit of a date night because we haven't had one in ages. With the three kids, obviously we had Marley recently, four months in, we haven't spoiled ourselves. So this hotel is amazing. Like from bottom to top, it is just mwah. They've got a bar upstairs with all food and all that kind of stuff. They've got two restaurants, one downstairs as well, which is cool, I saw a DJ playing before. Left us some nice messages. Hi Mitch, welcome to Hotel X. We hope you have an amazing time with us. Front desk. 
this is flash. So thank you so much, Hotel X. Absolutely love the room. We needed a little date night, so thank you and good night. <laughs> Time and the kids off for the night. Annie Clem's gonna take the honors. They're gonna go with Thank all three. You. No, we're having a house party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah why not? Bye, Have fun. Bye, Dad. All right, um, before you hear from Mitch, which is probably what you want to do, you probably don't want to hear from me, but those of you who know me, be uh, remiss of me not to uh, mention a few stats when I speak, so I've got a few here for you on Mitch. So Mitch was drafted at pick 40 in the 2008 draft to the Carlton Football Club, played 100 games with Carlton and kicked 58 goals. In 2014, he and his partner Emma at the time decided to make a move to Brisbane. He played 147 games and kicked 71 goals with us, bringing his overall tally to 247 AFL games and 129 goals, which is a fantastic career, mate. <clears throat> Some milestones for Mitch. He won the uh, Merritt Murray Medal in his first season at the club. He was runner-up the year after. He won the Marcus Ashcroft Medal in round six, 2019, and actually played two games for Australia in 2011, which a couple of people may not know. And then we've got a couple of little quirky stats that I found out about Mitch. He's given away the most 50 metre penalties of any player in the AFL <laughs> in the last 10 years. He's had the most free kicks against in the last five years for umpire abuse. In my two years um, in this job, unfortunately, I've had a few tribunal cases and is the only player I've come across who the AFL tribunal chairman calls by his first name. <clears throat> He's had the most MRO, which is the match review officer, reports in the last five years and has had the record amount of fines, total in over 20,000, which is... Basically, which was basically paid for the AFL Christmas party. So they thank you for that, Mitch. But as the boys mentioned, that's the way you play the game and that's what we love about you. You've been a credit to yourself for what you've been able to do in your career. Um, and on behalf of the football club and everyone here, I just want to thank yourself, Emma, Chance, Charlie and Marley for what you've done for this organisation. I came here at a time when the football club was at its lowest and you've helped create where we are today, mate, which is a great football club and you've been part of that journey and for that we thank you very much and we wish you all the best for the future, you and the family. Nah, it's all good. 
Um, obviously, uh, I didn't actually know I was getting up, so um, I've got a few thank yous and stuff, but the first person I want to thank is obviously Emma McNeil, uh, my partner in crime. Uh, round of applause for her before I get started. Like. If you think I'm crazy now, you should have met me 11 years ago when uh, she first met me and had to put up my shit. So um, she's given me th three beautiful children. Um, every game day, I don't talk to anyone. I don't talk to her or the kids. I'm very moody. When I come home from games, I'm sore and battered and bruised. And um, she puts up with so much. And it's, uh, it's a credit to her because, yeah, I really... <laughs> Sorry. I really don't... <sighs> Obviously, wouldn't be here playing footy, doing what I love doing, um, without her in my life. So, thank you, her and the kids uh, mean a lot to me. So, righto, oh, gentlemen, set the stage. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We please be standing and raise our glasses. A toast to Robo. Year, so. Thank you. Love you, Huey! <laughs> is with 66 votes, Lockie Neal. Come on, baby! Yeah, baby! So thank you Hotel X, we are done, BNF was a hit, we had a great night, thank you so much Hotel X, Fortitude Valley for putting us up, and I do highly recommend it, this place is too flash for me, but if you're coming to Brisbane, make sure you look the place up, it is very good. Thank you. <laughs>